The ingredients will be mini chocolate chips. And I decided to use Enjoy Life brand. You're gonna need some honey or whatever sweetener you would like. Vanilla extract. You're gonna need flaxseed oil. That's optional. You're gonna need peanut butter. I chose Natural Jif Creamy. And you're gonna need two large eggs. Of course, a bowl and a spoon. First off, you're going to open up your peanut butter and you're gonna scoop out. I did about two big scoops. I didn't want to uh, put it in my measuring cup because then I would get peanut butter everywhere. So I guesstimated about a half a cup of peanut butter. Then I added two half a teaspoons of flaxseed oil. I added my sweetener, which was honey, and I pretty much guesstimated on the honey. I didn't use a measuring cup. Next, I added a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract for flavoring. I added my two large eggs. I mix all of those ingredients together. So now that everything is mixed together, I'm going to add my mini chocolate chips. And I decided to um, just kind of guesstimate how many chocolate chips I wanted in the cookies. You can make them um, as chocolatey as you would like, or you can put just a few. I separated my batch of peanut butter into two pals, and in one pal, I added the chocolate chips and in the other pile I left it just peanut butter so I wanted to this is my first time doing this recipe so I wanted to see how it tastes with the chocolate chips and how it tastes without it so those are my two different piles of the batch All right, now I'm gonna just spoon out onto the parchment paper parchment paper is important the second time I did these cookies I did not use parchment paper and it's stuck to the little four. So make sure you have some parchment paper. So it'll be easy for your cookies to uh, come off of the pan when you are finished cooking. So you kind of just estimate how big you want your cookies. Uh, you start from the picture at the beginning, how big my cookies were as a result of the size of the spoon, the size of uh, the amount I put on the spoon. I heat the oven to 350 and I let the cookies remain in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. So about after 10 minutes I started to check on them. And mine were really soft, they weren't too hard, they weren't too soft, they were just right. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did leave a comment below, also thumbs up. You want to see more cooking videos? Thank you.